The legacy of George Milligan is quite a story to tell. My grandfather was born December 19, 1940. He was a product of black excellence during a time when blacks were challenged the most in the South. In the late 1950s, my grandfather was the oldest of three children, raised solely by his mother, Mary Milligan, a domestic worker, who worked hard to ensure that all three of her children went to college and got an education. Her husband, however, was not a part of the upbringing of the family. And because of this dynamic, my grandfather was the man of the house. George Milligan was a scholar. He was an honor roll student at Second War High School and a star athlete on the varsity basketball team. He was known as one of the brightest students at Second Ward and went on to enroll among some of the first black students to attend North Carolina State University. Although his name wasn't recorded like the infamous six in the late 50s, he still experienced the same racism and inequality. Racism was such a defining factor in his college life as a young man to the point of driving him to find a new route, leading to his decision to leave school. That very summer, he was able to land a job that allowed him to continue his education in computer science. Computers were a fairly new industry back then, and my grandfather became one of the first pioneers. Later on, he met my grandmother, um, she went to Johnson C. Smith University, was an AKA, and uh, <laughs> she graduated with an education degree. He later on was able to go work for the city of Charlotte and became a computer expert. When he came back from his travels with the company, he was blackballed. Finishing his degree, he was able to relocate to Ohio. Unfortunately, he had to di he divorced my um, grandmother, but they knew what was best for the family was for him to relocate to Ohio and keep the children half full custody. He from there he was able to get his MBA, and he remarried to Lynn Charles Milligan. He was able to travel the world especially to England. And throughout this, he left a legacy. He advocates, he's an advocate for education and gave, fam gave his family a better life. And his legacy will continue through me. I hope to get my education, to finish my education, and be able to be Dr. Milligan one day. This legacy has stayed in the family and will continue to be a part of the family. Thank you.